second. I'm not supposed to put that side. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, I have an account, but I never, I started one, I don't know when, because I don't, didn't even know that I had, but somebody told me, I saw you, I saw you have one. And I'm going, I do? <laughs> so, I don't know what the password is. I I'd have to create a whole new one, because I don't even know what it is. Uh, well, they were talking about, um, yeah. No. Um, I were talk about, uh, it was easier for them to go live on Instagram. It's harder to upload it to YouTube. That oh, see, I don't, I don't know any of that stuff. No. Hello, ladies. Anybody out there? We're going to be jelly printing. I'm here with my friend Sarah. Say hello, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> she brought over these really cool wood blocks. Hi, Lisa. She brought over these really cool uh, wood blocks. So we're going to be... Um, playing with them. Well, some of us are. Yeah, some of us are. She just watches. She's over there making paper, no, fabric beads. All right. So I've already tried a few before we went on. Here's an example. Well, let me do this because that's going to dry. Calm down, Rosemary. Calm down. Let's see which one. Ooh, this one's cool. Let's do this. Hi, Gail. Um, so what I'm doing basically is I'm getting the stamp. Here's the stamp. And then I'm stamping it on here and getting it kind of loaded on there. Because if I go straight on to this other one, it doesn't print until it's loaded maybe around two times. Is that something I need to know? Yeah. Do it a couple of times. See, and it still didn't have enough. You can see right there. So these wooden ones are different than the other kind of stamps. Yeah. I think because, you know, you it it absorbs the, the paint at a different rate. Because I know even when I used the regular ink, yeah. I had to do the same thing. So... And then some of these wood ones, they're not flat, so that makes a difference when you try the print, too. So we'll see. It's just, we're just practicing, we're just playing. But they're coming out kind of cool. After I pull this print, I'll show you the ones that we've already done. I've been doing it for a few minutes before we went on. Let me go over that one again. See, it's the same spot. So that one obviously isn't flat. The only reason it's printing good on the jelly plate is because it gives. It gives, yeah. Yeah, that's not, look at that. See, it's not flat at all. Oh. Yeah, you can see it. You can't do anything. Hi, it. Kathy. Hi, Tamar. Who else is there? I've got to be able to see from far away. <laughs> I am so bad. <laughs> like I told you guys, my husband already got my new computer, but oh, man, this one's going to disappoint you. This is going to be uh, frustrating for you. Because it's not, see what it's doing? Yeah. Do you think the elephant was like that? Oh, I don't know. We'll do that next and we'll find why, out. Why I can't use it? We'll double check. So I'm not even going to stamp on that anymore because it's not, it's not doing that thing. Okay, so if you guys use these um, wooden blocks or anything that you use with stamps, if you haven't done it before, make sure when you're done to put it in a little bucket of water. I've got a little pan down here with some water, and I'm sticking 
them in because the acrylic paint, you know, will kind of make goobers all over it and then you're not going to have such a refined print it'll it'll mess it up okay so i put white um white acrylic paint did the stamp and now i'm going to pull do the first pull with a uh, black cardstock and see what happens Oh, you already got your package, Kathy? Boy, I'm I'm not gonna bad mouth the post office no more. I know I'm do I'm fooling everybody. Well, because Sarah's here, yeah. and um, you know when the sun goes down, she's gone. So, <laughs> so we had to do. <laughs> so we have to do it in the middle of the day. Now, Sarah, I met Sarah basically on Facebook. Yeah. She joined my um, she joined my Facebook group. And then when we went to go do swaps, I saw her address and I'm going, oh, my gosh, she just lives a few miles away from me. And the rest is history. And I'm here. And she's here. So yeah. she comes over I'm when the ladies come over just to play. She's spoiled today, though. It's just her and me. And uh, and then she's come over for several workshops, and we just have a grand old time. She's a, a dog lover. She worked with rescue dogs, so her and my husband have plenty to jibber jabber about dogs. All right, so ooh, now see this is the first print, and look how cool is that? You guys know how much I love to do my black and white journals, so you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Oh, how this is going to be the oh that pool door yeah good. the beginning for those pages that's going to be really so super that cool. So still good. You just can't use it on paper as well. It's not. It's not as well. You'd have to put like maybe um, something a little cushy on the bottom, you know, yeah. to, to create the same oh. feel that that has. I, do I mean, you can still use it, but you're not going to be able to use it on something hard. It's not going to work. It's not flat. All right. So that's the first pull. Then what I've been doing, I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, well, let me show you the other ones I've done already. That's the one we just did, obviously. This is, um, and these are all her stamps. Um, they were still in the package, and I had. They were still in the package. <laughs> and here's another one. And these are all the wood block type. And here's another one that I got on Amazon. Amazon, yeah. And then this is, oh, that's, this is straight from the stamp. This is when I pulled it off of the plate. And I got free shipping and they came from India. Oh, really? Yeah. This so is the stamp. It. And then that's the pull. Stamps. And the pull. And then there was still stuff left even after I do the pool as you can see and then I came back with some colored different colors and then did a, another pull sometimes two pulls because I wanted to get all the little bits I could get off whoops I don't want to put that there it'll pull it off some have a little bit some have more but I still like the texture that it's giving so it's kind of cool And that's what I've done so far. So I told Sarah, okay, let's go live and see what kind of havoc we can we can do. Okay, so now I'm going to put a color on there. Let me see who's here. Yeah. I saw Kathy. Hi, Joy. Did I already say hello? I already said hello to Gail, I think. Hi, Johnny. I haven't checked my mail yet. Hi, Mitz. Okay, so let me get another color. Oh, no. I want to try these. I've been using, I don't know what it is about this color. It's called light blue velvet, velvet, violet, velvet. Oh my gosh. I need to drink my tea. Oh yeah. And Sarah brought me some tea. So I'm good to go till midnight. Um, light blue is violet. Better, better huh? in the tube? I don't know. I get whatever's on sale myself. I'm, I'm not one of those, um, 
proponents of either one. Sale, woo, that's the best. Yeah, whatever's on sale, that's the best at the moment. But I just love this color. I don't know why. I know it doesn't. Oh, yuck. I just looked on the monitor. No, that is not the color this is. This is a beautiful color. Come look, Sarah. Look at the difference. That's why a lot of times when we do stuff, I have to like, oh, look at that. That's not the color. No, that's not the color. <laughs> Very yucky. All right. So then the next pull that I do with the color, I just use a regular sheet of copy paper. Now, see, that didn't pull up anything. How come, Sarah? I don't have any, any answers. Okay. Well, that didn't pull up anything. We'll see what the next one does. Yeah, I'll do it again. See? I'm not sure what happened there, but let's pick okay, a different that's color. Wild, that's a totally different color. It is, yeah. So sometimes even like when I'm showing my journals or something like mm -hmm. that, or if I'm trying to sell something, I'll say, now, this is really purple. It's not the ugly blue you're looking at. It's really a pretty purple. And now this is a purple that I'm putting on here. And look, it looks blue. <laughs> I think I better stop using blues and purples on here because it looks ugly. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Laughing and choking myself. Okay. Hey, Peggy. And everybody else I've missed. Hi, Patty. Who else? Patricia. Did I already say hello to Patricia? Ah. I know, Gail. I still have not figured out what it is about the in these colors. It's crazy. And it isn't like just a subtle shade. It's like a totally different color. Okay, this picked up better. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. Look, it almost has silver tones in it. Yeah. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. And then I'll do one last one with a little bit of red to pull up whatever little bit is there, just because I like red. Hey, Miss Crafty Kitty says it looks purple over at her house. Oh, well, she would know. We all got to go to her place. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's the expert. I know. Maybe it's our monitors. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, maybe a more um, pixelated monitor shows more of the real color, maybe. She might have an expensive monitor. We got the cheap stuff. <laughs> At least she can turn yours on. <laughs> Okay. See, I was wondering about the light. Oh, yeah, that might have something to do with it. What types of lights you have on. There you go. That sounds pretty smart. Okay. So not much there, but it cleaned it up, and it's cool texture for those of you that like to collage or do different stuff and love your backgrounds. That's a cool one right there. All right. So now we're going to do another totally different stamp. So let's put some white on. And yes, my thing is squeaking again. I don't know what it is with me and Brayers. They all squeak. So I don't know what to tell you guys. Get used to it. <laughs> Turn your volume down. When you see the brayer coming out, put the volume down if it bugs you. <laughs> okay, let's pick out another stand. See, I got oodles to play with. 
All right. Let's see. You wanted to do the you wanted to do the elephant next. See how that yeah, works. Yeah. All right. See if the elephant works. We got this really cutie patootie here. Elephant. What's the first one I got? It is so cute. But that's the one I got from, I think, someplace around here, Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay. So this is probably the resin, right? Yeah, it looks like it's yeah. the resin. One. I think I have this one actually. All right, let's see if it stamps on here. That's the test. Okay. Well, it didn't pick up enough yet, so that's not a good test. Let's get some more paint on it. Oh, but it looks good on the blind. Yeah, well, because it gives, so it's not going to be a problem okay. over there. But, you know, that should have some give with the stack of papers you got. You would think, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, it's still, it's pretty dry, so... I don't know. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> look, okay. I don't know what to tell you. So maybe that's why um, you've got issues, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's just use that because that's. I want rather say it's the stamp than me. <laughs> you know, it's always the product. It's never you. Faulty product. Faulty husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me check who's over here. Let's see who's over here. Who's new? Sandra's new. Hey, Sandra. Patty, where are you? Are you home? Yes, yeah, never the operator. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Miss Witchy's here. I don't know her. You don't know her? Yeah, I don't watch her. Not that I meant that negatively. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, this came out pretty cool. And a little bit of the red stayed, so. Oh, Patty's home. Patty's been on the road. She's been a vagabond. On the road again. Oh. Oh, I like so that. So it works that way. Oh, that one's cool. So let's see. I'm gonna let's try. Let's okay, try I this see one Willie again. Nelson on the Country Music Awards. I didn't see. Is he alive? <laughs> and he was on the Country Music Awards, but they said that his <laughs> his voice was really oh weak. Which is which was you kind of understand about it. I'm putting less paint because I'm thinking I put too much before and it wasn't picking things up. So let's try it with a little bit of paint because I tend to like be kind of heavy on the paint. And for a pickup, you don't need to be. Okay, so again, you guys just getting here. The pickup one I'm just doing with regular uh, copy paper, and uh, the black is cardstock. Okay, all well, that cleaned that off. You can't hardly see it because it was white, but it's clean. It's clean. That's a pretty color. Yeah, it's a pretty color. Whoops, need that. That goes over here. That goes there. Alrighty, next stamp. So now you know it wasn't you, but that stamp's got issues. Because okay. that was maybe scared to work with the rest of them. Yeah, so don't judge your experience by that one. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> look at these. She's got little bunnies. And she's got little mini elephant. <laughs> These are so cute. But I thought they'd be bigger. Kitty cat. Yeah, she thought they were going to be big. But, you know, small is cute. All right. So, and there's a little horse. A 
little fish. What should we do next? Let's do the little, I think I'm going to do the little fishy. Let's put those on. Oh, the big fish really turned out good. You got a big one? No, I thought we had a bigger one. What was it that turned out so, looked like the egg rolls, like we should order egg rolls. <laughs> Which one was it? No idea. What did we do that we thought we wanted egg rolls? <laughs> that was a fish. Boy, he threw something. Oh my goodness. I have no idea. Oh yeah. We did have a big fish. Yeah, and it looked Oh good. yeah, and she wanted she wanted egg rolls. <laughs> I mean it reminded me of egg rolls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's let's do <laughs> let's do the Let's do the little, the little fishies, the baby fishy. <laughs> okay, so the other ones were koi, and these are guppies, okay? Because these are kind of small, relatively small. Okay, let's see how this stands. And I'm just using white acrylic paint. Oh, this one goes in really good. This is a better stamp. I like this guy. <laughs> He's cute. We have a beautiful day here today. The sun is out. It's cool. It's crisp. But, you know, any day to me with the sun out. It can be, you know, 10 degrees outside. If the sun is out and the wind isn't blowing, it doesn't go I'm a happy much. camper. I like to breathe cold oh. air and feel the sun on me at the same time. That's why I like the mountains. Okay, I keep thinking of a song. Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> Oh, we have some we have some Colorado people in there right now. CJ, she lives in Denver. Oh, is CJ still there? No, was she? Yeah, I thought I saw her. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going senile. We got our Texas people and our Louisiana people down uh, watching right now. I know that for sure. Okay. So I just did some stamping on that just to look cute. It'll go into my journal. See, came out cute. That'll go into my um, black and white journal. And we'll fill in the gaps of this one that didn't print well. Uh, let's put that there. All right. Put it in the water. Stay clean. So now I'm going to take the black card stock. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. <laughs> I'm sitting down here singing to myself. I scare myself sometimes. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you having oh. a good time? Hi, Aaron. Have you used these to stamp with? No. Uh-uh. They probably look kind of cool, huh? Oh, Sandy. She's from Louisiana, too. Ooh, we got two Louisiana so far. That I know of. Okay. Aw. The little fishy came out cute. Oh, it did, didn't it? Aww. <laughs> All right. So let's do a cleanup. Let me go find a blue, a real blue. 
close as opposed to those purples and all kinds of stuff. Let's get some real ocean action. Ocean action. Ocean action. Let me see here. Uh, I guess it depends what color your ocean is, right? <laughs> get blue green. I got this aqua and well, I don't think well desert turquoise. I don't know. That doesn't sound too oceany to me. <laughs> <laughs> but but aqua does. <laughs> All right, let's see what mess this makes. Okay, roller, noisy roller time, cover your ears. Oops, I should have, I ruined it. I should have used something really dark because the white just blended in. Note to printer. <laughs> Note to printer. <laughs> Don't use light colors. <laughs> what a waste. And those were so cute. Oh, man. I'm mad at myself now. That was a big waste of all those little cute fishies. Okay, I'm mad. All right, don't do that. Don't let me do that again. Okay. No. <laughs> don't let me use a light color with white. <laughs> All right, next. That was a bus. Sorry, people. And they were going to be so cute. That's what happens when you try to outsmart yourself. Well, you, end, you end up being stupid. <laughs> My beads were going to be cute, too, just like yours. Oh, yeah. Sarah's over there making a whole bunch of fabric beads. She's just having a good old time over there. After I pull this, you have to bring some of your beads over. No. Oh. Oh, you look cool. Mm. Yeah, yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's do the bunny hop. <laughs> let's do the bunny hop. Hi, Donna. Bunny hop. So that means I have to put like red or Something dark on this. I don't want to lose the bunnies. Oh, before I forget, don't let me forget, Sarah. Okay. At some point, for those in the group there that, in the chat, that got some of the cantha quilts, I want to show them what I'm doing with my cantha quilt. Oh, yeah. So they can have an idea what to do with it if they don't have an idea already. This one's doing really good. Is this a nice flat one? Oh, the bunny hop. The bunny hop. And then another way you could do the printing is the same way with this. You know, do it on your jelly plate and then put your fabric on top of that like I did those little yeah. um, 
those little bags I did. Yeah. You could do the printing that way. And if you want it to be soft, just make sure you're using um, fabric paint, which I have some somewhere. I just don't use it. I got it on sale somewhere. <laughs> My goodness, for sale. <sighs> Okay, here's a bunny, there's a bunny, there's a bunny, there's a bunny. Okay, put it in the water. I say that to remind myself, not to remind you. I've ruined a... A few with this acrylic paint not ruined it but I had to like practically chisel it out okay so black cardstock let's see what happens <laughs> as you look right what's gonna happen to my buddy And do you know where you got all these? Like the name of I got them off of Amazon. Oh, okay. I typed in on, wooden block stamp. Okay. These all came from Amazon. And free shipping. Free shipping. It took him a while. It <laughs> wasn't expedient shipping. Oh <laughs> it was a, a slow ship. A slow boat. <laughs> Oh, look at the bunnies. Hi, Laura. One group got there. Hi, well Cheryl. Before the other groups got there. Oh, they were from different places? Well, really, they all came. You're not sure? Uh, yeah. No problem. Okay, so here is, here is the bunny from the plate. Here is the bunny from the leftover cleanup from the stamps. And now, with a dark color... Because the white's going to disappear. I'm going to go find a dark color to do the cleanup with. I'm not sure. Let's see. Don't want to waste my bunnies. Ooh, how about a really dark purple? Ooh, yeah. I mean, a real dark color. This is called royal purple. Let's try that. See what it looks like. <laughs> tricked you huh Patricia I have a friend here that was going to spend a day here in the studio with me so I told her hey and she wanted me to test out her little stamps that she got so I told her ah let's just go live and so here we are I hope this picks up good because those be a, a bunny is a horrible thing to waste, especially a cute one. All right. Copy paper. Don't kill the rabbit. I think I'm too old to kill the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> the only you and I understand them. <laughs> we saved the bunnies! Yay! <laughs> There we go. The bunny. Oh, I don't know if you can see them too much, but they're all there. I see them. There's a little bunny right there. Very cool. Again, cool stuff for backgrounds. All right. Short break to show you the bunny. No, my candle quilt. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that reminded me of the Tisha Moore thing. We it were kind doing. of sort of, yeah, huh? Look, look at my little. Okay, so this is a piece. The background here is a piece of a uh, Cantha quilt. And then I came in and did some more stitching. The the larger stitches were the original Cantha quilt. And then in between those large ones, I put two strips of a little tighter stitch. And then uh, I got one of my pieces of my rusted fabrics that I have. I got my um, little quail and put my little quail on there and then just stitch the quail down and then put just a few little, I guess those are little somethings. I don't know, flowers. I don't know what they are. And then, um, then sewed that down on just to a piece of uh, muslin. So um, that's that. <laughs> um, Suzanne, oh, are you going to make more jelly bags? Um, I could. I have some of those bags. Actually, you know what worked out pretty cool? Those of you that saw me making all those bags, when I filled out my orders the other night, I put a bag in each one, and I had one bag left. It was just a, you know, a coincidence that I had one for everybody, which was kind of cool. I won't say this. I won't say this very well. R O Y A L. Roll. Mm -hmm. Roll. That's right. <laughs> Craft. That's where I got them. Okay. So um, if you like these stamps, if you go over to Amazon, she got it at Royal. Royal what? Just Craft. Ro Royal Craft. Mm -hmm. Royal. Depends Royal. where you live. Yeah. Royal or Royal or Royale. Well, oh, Depending what part of the country you live in. I can't say it, so <laughs> it's okay. And there was some by hashtag hashcraft of India. Hashcraft hand carved. Hashcraft. Hash cart. I didn't hash cart. Hand crafted. Hand carved. But is that know. where you got those? No, but you no, got I yours don't. at Royale, right? Yes. <laughs> <I can't> say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we got some more stamping to do. If you just got here, I'm just using acrylic paint, white acrylic paint. Why I'm doing white because I had a lot of black card stock left over. <laughs> And it just seemed the right thing to do. <laughs> okay, so now we've got, let me see. We got the mini elephant. Let's do, let's alternate something with the mini elephant. Let's see what that would be. One of these smaller designs I think would be cool. I think this is the little elephant would be cute together. Let's do that. Let's do that. Wow, I'm using both hands. I'm impressing Ooh. myself. <laughs> yes, I am impressing myself. Oh, you are. <laughs> <I'm fascinating. laughs> we can go get us a standard car. <laughs> Oh, 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 
I made a mistake. Oh. Well, maybe we won't That's what I get for being sassy. Maybe we won't be drunk next day. We'll fill up the gaps with this. Okay. Put them in the water. Black cardstock. I'm just repeating myself for new people coming in. So you can know what you're doing. <laughs> Don't give my secrets away. <laughs> oh, those bunnies. The bunnies came out cute, huh? Oh, yeah. I like the bunnies. Oh, those, those are the same bunnies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know they multiply. <laughs> those different bunnies. Separate those bunnies. Okay, pretty cool. Oh, that was. This one came out really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we'll do a little cleanup and I'll use the, let's see if it doesn't disappear, mm -hmm. but uh, I'll use the, the desert um, or dessert, no, <laughs> one S. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if this isn't too light because remember we tried this and this yeah. was too light they disappeared yeah. uh you know what i don't want to try it because i don't want to lose all those little cute things so um i know the orange works so let's do the orange so orange and red let's do let's do a little variegated okay And on all of this, I'm just using acrylic, any kind of acrylic, cheap acrylic, expensive acrylic, doesn't matter. Whatever I have on hand. Oh, I forgot to warn about the sound. You guys already know when you see the brayer coming. Ah, yeah. Cover your ears. Oh Aren't those cool? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we're going to pick it up with um, just regular old copy paper. That's Sarah chiming it up over there. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting the chimes. <laughs> Okay, during the sale the other day, you hit those and you could hear them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forget about them sometimes. I know if it's the first time you've been on any of my videos, they go, oh, my gosh, what was that? <laughs> okay. Look, they disappeared again. I'm getting upset. That. Look, yeah. these little boogers didn't show up very well. Yeah, some of them did. Well, they're a little better over here. Okay, shut up, Rosemary. Anyway, those are kind of cute. Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah, I guess there wasn't enough left on that side at all to begin with. That's a oh, cute! That's cute. All right, next. Let's see. What are we gonna do next? Okay. Then I don't know what to do with these. What? That's why I didn't get one because I wasn't sure what to do with that. And I wasn't um, sure I had enough guts to cut it up. Oh, well, you can turn them into journals or, you know, depending on what your decor is in your home. My, my home is very, you know, my out there. So I framed one of, one of mine. And it, looks, ah! see. and it looks really cool. That I can see, but I, can, I thought I can't cut that up. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little turtle. Let's see, what do we want to put with the turtle? 
A turtle and a... And a pear tree. Well, some kind of a bird. It looked like it could be like, one of the, what do you call those? Those little errant? Is that what they're called? Or the ones at the beach? Yeah, seagulls. I forget what they're called. No, well, yeah, it could, yeah, it could be a seagull. Yeah, it could. Except I, no, I can't put them together because they eat the eggs of the turtles, of the sea turtles. So no, bad, bad. <laughs> we don't want them unless, unless we show the turtle eating, eating the bird. <laughs> bad, bad bird. Okay, well, we'll just do, oh, this, this looks like one of those, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Sand dollars, Sand dollars or yeah. yeah, there you go. That goes together. All right, we planned it that way. All right. Yes, everything is planned. More here. acrylic white paint. Close your ears. Close your ears. Everything is planned out. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Have to be am. Am I gonna have to? Am I gonna show off again? Or no, I'm not gonna show off again. <laughs> Ooh, oh. cool. Okay. Oh, I better pace it a little closer because look, half his head's gonna be chopped off. No, we're gonna go sideways. We can pretend he's laying an yeah. egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real round egg. Now you're getting technical. <laughs> now the precise shape of the sea turtle egg. That one prints really cool on the paper. Oh, oh, it does. Yeah. So you'll be happy with that one on the fabric, I'm sure. Yeah, that one's the best one of all of them so far. I mean, as far as clarity. Until it gets to the user. <laughs> Until I get it all full of acrylic paint. I let go of it. Oh. Well, I, it, the suction was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got scared. Oh, no. The attack of the, of the, the flying. <laughs> the flying turtle. <laughs> he attacked his own egg. I told you that. It's pretty around. bad. <laughs> oh, no. We got problems. Well, and I'm glad these are so professionally done. <laughs> Aren't you glad you came over to get these done right? <laughs> I'm just glad somebody's using them so I can see how they work. <laughs> Because now I think I need to order some more. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's kind of cool because except for one, all of ours are different. I don't have any that you have and you don't have any I have. So we can have fun playing with them. Yeah.
Put them in the water. Cardstock. Okay, let's see. Ooh, peekaboo. Very cool. Oh, I like it. Yes, yes, yes. I, I like that. I hadn't liked every one of them. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see if I can find like a deep royal blue. Oh, I bet you don't have that color. Probably not. Where are my balloons blues? Regular blues. Here we go. Oh, this is dark. Oh, excellent. Aquamarine blue. You need aquamarine blue for a sea turtle. Definitely. Week time. Now, if I lose these, I'm going to be very upset. So cover your ears. I might scream. Yeah. <laughs> Copy paper. Uh-oh. There's very few that you can see, Aww. but you can see a couple. I don't know why you see some and I get, That's well, I don't color. know. I don't know. I messed up again. I got to, I, uh, I Sorry, guess I. Just blame it on the stamp. <laughs> oh. No, and that was a good stamp. It was an excellent stamp. It's blame just, the color, the I color don't know. The okay, I'll blame the color of the paint. Okay. You know all the ones that we're liking, which is almost all of them. Okay, next. Oh, I better look over here. People have got a bunch of capitals. Oh, <laughs> oh good point, Erin. What she's saying, maybe I should let the white dry a little bit more. Before I put uh, the color on, I hate those smarty pants that really know what's going yeah. on because I think she's right. Oh, yeah. So, we knew it wasn't so let's do that. I knew it couldn't be me. It was <laughs> when the paint wasn't dry. It is the paint wasn't dry. It's the paint's fault. <laughs> yeah, well, paint. <laughs> well, we will do that because I think she's right. Okay, so let's do the hummingbird. Ooh, ooh, look how beautiful that is. Do the hummingbird, and what should we do with the hummingbird? Let's see the other little small ones. I love all these small ones. I know you were disappointed that they were small, yeah, but I actually, you like I, I, ones. yeah, I favor those. I think those are super cool. All right, so we have a hummingbird. Let's we got to get a flower, and I think the hummingbird would be taking that looks like a little. A little spot that he would love yeah. to get the little, the little nectar bugs. out of. Or does he want a bigger flower? This is bigger. <laughs> he likes little flowers. Yeah. I think the little flowers are a lot sweeter. 
that's my theory. I don't go around eating flowers, but <laughs> we might. I think those little ones pack a punch. You know, like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. Yeah. They're small, but they're good. Okay. And I don't have any. <laughs> Kathleen. Kathleen's been watching some of my videos and everything I do. She's got the stuff. She's just not using it. <laughs> Tell her I bring mine over to you and let you use it. <laughs> I got to change the name of my channel to what? What would, what would be a catchy name? For people to start using their stuff that they just have sitting around. Send your stuff to Rosemary and see how to use it. Yeah, send it to me. I'll show you what you all you can do. With. Yeah, the other night we were talking about soldering and stuff. People had all the stuff. Then we started talking about kilns. And they had all the stuff. And I'm sitting here going, I don't have any of that stuff. I don't have any soldering stuff. I would die for all that stuff I they have. I teach soldering when I was practice teaching. But <laughs> I, I did not buy my own soldering tools. Okay. So let me see how to shape this right. And I'm so sure that go... a lot of students I taught are out in the soldering world right now. <laughs> Okay, let's put the little bird needs to go exactly like that. Oh, cool. And then I'll put the little flower there. And we'll just have to stagger them around. That was a pretty flat stamp too. It it's coming off pretty pretty good on the paper. All righty. What do we do next? We put the cardstock on it. No. Oh. oh. What do we do with the block? Oh, we put it in the water. <laughs> uh oh. I don't have any more black paper. Hold on, I gotta go get some of the other ones. Oh. Keep them company, sir. I don't even know their answers. I don't hear you. Hey, I'm not talking. I can't get up for one thing. Oh, well, you got that before I could get up. <laughs> well, you can talk to them from where you're at, you know. They can uh, hear you. <laughs> oh, wow. You soon as you lose, Sarah. Yeah. You could have been popular, but you, uh, you couldn't even get up off the chair. How are you going to be popular? That is one of the things that has always held me back. From <laughs> Getting off your chair. Oh, my God. Losing to lose. <laughs> You got to be fast. Uh oh. Oh, what happened? Oh no. <laughs> what? You stepped in the water. I'll have to do it again. I forgot the flowers. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to do it again because I want the flowers on there. Okay. I'm still answering water. I think I forgot, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. See, you were asking questions. <laughs> and I just wanted an excuse to do it twice. Yeah. Look. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. This one came out nice. Very pretty. Okay, so let's do the pull on that one now, and let it dry. I may not ever be good at doing any of this stuff, but I can buy this stuff. <laughs> and I can play with it. <laughs> I have no problem letting people buy stuff and let me experiment with it. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, now I'll do the blue again. But um, if it doesn't work, then when I put the, the flowers gone. back on, I won't do the blue. The blue is gone. It seems like the ones that are working really well are the orange and the red. But I'm tired of the orange and the red. I want some other colors, but that's okay. Um, I'm not starting with a dark color because I want them all printed on black. That's why I'm starting with white. So um, if I can't pick up the pickups, eh, well, okay. But at least I'm getting my whites. That's my, um, that's my, my yeah, for my black and white journal. So that's my, those are my real prints. And these are just, let's hope they work out prints. <laughs> Using the debit card, I do good. <laughs> See, what happens is the paint I put on there, um, the white of the paper shows through just enough that it blends in with, you know, whatever. I wonder if you used a darker paper to pick it up. I don't have any darker paper. It would. It would probably interfere with the. I mean, I could do color. it with the black again, but you it wouldn't the see the color. Yeah. It yeah. Interfere with the oh, color. wait a minute. I think I have some of this really like construction type paper that has some colors to it. Maybe I should try that. See, it just blended in again. Oh. See, you can see some of them, some of the leaves. But it's not pronounced because that white just shows through from the white paper. So you have to go with the super, super dark, which was, again, I, well, this is dark. But, you know, different different um, colors have different types yeah. of pigments in them. And they do. Pick out yeah, they are different, even though they might be dark. Okay. So let me go see that construction paper. I have to see what color it is. I don't, I'm not getting that this time. <laughs> Yellow. It's like copy paper. I thought it was construction paper, but it's like copy paper. Yeah. But it is, um, I got one that is a soft mint green and then a yellow. So we'll see what we do with that. So, all right. So, oh, where is, oh, it's going to be all wet. I'm going to dry that. It'll really dilute the paint. Let me go put this to dry a little bit. Okay, we'll do the hummingbird a little bit later, let it dry out a tiny bit more, and we'll do something else first. Okay, what a bummer. All right. All of that just to save the hummingbird and the, <laughs> and the, and the flower. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. 
let's just do some flowers. I got a bunch of little flowers here. Let's just do those. We'll save this for the hummingbird. But let's do some of these patterns. Oh, there's a whole bunch. You might have to do more than one page. I like those. I like these a lot. I like the circle ones. All the little flowers, basically. Yeah. 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 I like those. Okay. Let's, let's concentrate on that right now. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. One more time. Acrylic paint. Regular roll acrylic paint. Squeaky roller. Squeaky roller. Same thing, only different. <laughs> All right, so let's pick a big one and a small one, and we'll do those. Okay, I'm going to get Smarty Pants again and pretend like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I forget who it was. Somebody last night, their father was a welder. So she wasn't afraid of like torches, <laughs> all that fun stuff. She was raised around that. Who was that? I already forgot. I can barely glance up to read, let alone remember who I was reading about. <laughs> It isn't like I'm not paying attention. I'm just slow. <laughs> I remember the specifics. I just forget who it was. <laughs> That's pretty bad, huh? I should remember yeah. the person and not the specifics. <clears throat> it's a little more personal. I bet you remember the story. Yeah, but it was an interesting story. And you didn't make it up yourself. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I have to make up my own stories. I'm so relieved when people have interesting things to share because I don't have to make up stuff. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness, Kathleen, listen to this. She says, one thing I kept when cleaning out his place. Oh, it was Kathleen. Oh, well. she she um, had a plastic bag full of metal shavings. How cool is that? I don't know what the heck you're going to do with them, but that is cool. Uh, we kept that too. She can make like a little shaker thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Cardstock, black cardstock. You know, it would make a pretty cool, you know, it would look a really cool box is if she made like a shadow box and then she got a, um, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> Here I am making it. The, the clear stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, a, uh, oh man, I'm going blank. Hold on. Okay. Rewind. <laughs> I do well. You, you do well having me over here. I help so much. I know. <laughs> I'm making the book. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see how this works. Hold on. I'll, I'll grab my thoughts in a second. Let's, I, have a I think I think what it is is um, finish the book. 
I'm I'm having a difficult time doing more than one thing at a time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, look. Ooh, I like that. Pretty. Uh -huh. Cool. Anyway, well, I was going to say it would look cute for a, a, a box if she got a shadow box and then got a cool looking little magnet of some kind yep. and then had all the shavings oh, all on the magnet like a, and a, then a have a Popeye's a... face. <laughs> the... No, not the Popeye's. Will you move the hair on the Popeye's? No. What no, Popeye's? she's not going to put a picture of her father in there and put it on her his head. No. That was not, that wasn't the vision I had. I had a more sentimental vision. <laughs> no. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Well, I thought I had a thought there for a minute. <laughs> and I have one of those somewhere. But I'm not even going to go there and look for it. Oh my goodness. Metal shavings. <laughs> no, it would be cool. Like any it. any kind of ephemerate she had from him, you know, and put it in that box and had that in the corner and then put the shavings in there. That would be cool. Not stuck to his head. Well, no, I was just thinking about Popeye. <laughs> wasn't it Popeye that you moved the. You could no, it wasn't Popeye, but he was bald. Oh. Okay, let's see if this shows. Oh, and let me get another color of paper and see what happens. Now I'm going to have to go find me one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it shows up a little bit better because if it wasn't yellow, I don't think the white would have showed up at all. Uh, but that yellow gives it just enough background yeah. to see the white. Uh, so that's cool. You can tell we had a dull childhood. <laughs> I can remember that. The kids nowadays, they have iPhones. And <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. I know I have one. Where, where was that little guy? He was around here somewhere. Let me double check. <clears throat> it isn't like I play with him every day. Oh, where is he? <laughs> oh, Wooly Willie. Wooly Willie. It Willy. was Wooly Willie. It wasn't Popeye at all. It wasn't Popeye at all. No, and look at this guy. Oh, I remember <laughs> him too. And somebody sent me this. Oh, no, I don't remember her. Yeah, that's a hair good. Okay. Well, because I can't do my own hair. Now, we don't want you to do this with your dad's head. Never. But for those of you of a different age, you may not know what we're well, talking about. <laughs> this is the kind of This is who she like. thought was Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, so this is not what I meant to do with the shavings. This was not what I had in mind. But that's where my mind is. No disrespect to your father. <laughs> I'm sure he was fine. But Sarah, you know, she doesn't care. She goes there. And then I have a, I have the one with the. Uh, I wouldn't be mean about a father. <laughs> and, and, yeah, see? And then this one, you could do her hairdo. Well, that was sent to me. <laughs> anyway. No, our childhood but we digress. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. All right. Let's try the, um, the hummingbird again. Let's try that little puppy again. Oh, and I can't forget the flower. Yeah, that cowboy one. He's kind of cool. 
I really thought <laughs> Wooly Willy. Wooly Willy, yeah, he was the thing. I think he was the first guy, right? I'm sure because you're from California. I don't know. Y'all had the, uh, the cowboy one more than we had Wooly Willy. You had the cowboy one? No, I'm saying from California, y'all probably had the cowboy one. Why would we have a cowboy one in California? Because it's West. <laughs> John Wayne lived there. <laughs> oh, well, so did Popeye. He was oh, from Hollywood. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's really. get some. Let's get some white acrylic paint. <laughs> and don't forget to put it in the water. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> no, but I didn't want to miss that one. <laughs> oh, I think I need some more of my sweet tea. <laughs> I don't know how many nights. Sarah I yelled. brought me sweet tea, so she's I, got me going. <laughs> I don't know how many nights I yelled, put down the sweet tea. <laughs> so you bring it. Oh, great. Yes. All right. But it's not midnight yet. No, it's not midnight yet. <laughs> Gail says, Sarah sounds funny. She's funny. She's holding back. <laughs> she, whenever we have our workshops, I, I make sure I put, I put like a nice balance of people, people. the quiet people with the who people like Sarah. <laughs> So that we don't fall asleep during class. <laughs> oh. But I have to tell you, my very first workshop, okay, my very first one, of course, you know, anything you do the first time, you're really nervous about it. And uh, I was nervous because I didn't know any of these people. <laughs> that was coming to me. That was coming to my workshop. And first, of course, I don't know them. I don't know if they're going to get along. Um, you know, you just don't know anything. You don't know if they're going to be a know-it-all and try and teach the class for you. <laughs> anyway, you just don't know. And so I had these two big tables set up for the class. And, um, and obviously, you know, they came in and they met each other and everybody, um, you know, could sit wherever they wanted to sit. And the funny part was, to me anyway, is that all the loud mouth, crazy, funny <laughs> ones sat on one table and then all the ones just sitting there in the corner, you know, all went to the other table. And they got their project done. <laughs> and they got their project done and they had fun. I was, I would go back and forth, of course, you know, helping <laughs> whatever questions they had. And the quiet group would look over at the other table and kind of roll their eyes like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, dear. It was so funny. <laughs> but I was thankful every I mean, even though you had the, the, the crazy group and the quiet group, they all got along during lunch. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> they, they all got along. I'm not sure the crazy group got their project. Totally I don't finished. know if you guys got all your stuff done or not, but at that point, nobody cared. They were having fun. So that's all that mattered. They took all their stuff home with them. <laughs> so then after that, if I had repeats, well, then I knew, okay, I need to put this person with that person to try and keep them awake. <laughs> And now I have my my Texas ladies. They're a hoot. They're fun. And they come all by themselves. <laughs> they come all by themselves. <laughs> I've never figured that one out. <laughs> okay, that came out cute. Don't forget, do the flowers. And what am I supposed to do with this? And the water. Thank you. Okay. All right. Flower time. Okay. They need their flowers. They need their flowers. And they might need a little cluster of flowers oh. because, you know, when they go to the vines, there's not just one little flower there. Right. There's a, there's a couple. A couple of flowers there.
And so then you top all of that, what I just told you. And for those of you that know Shannon Green, well, she's here too yeah. during, <laughs> during this stuff, during these happenings. So I was like, oh my gosh. <sighs> That was the paint chip workshop. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. So anyway, I was telling Sarah, there's a local, a local businessman here downtown, and he has a really beautiful building that he restored. It's real pretty. Upstairs, he lives upstairs. And um, uh, most of his business is in the back end of the downstairs of his building. You never have said what he does downstairs. <laughs> you don't want to know what he does downstairs. <laughs> I'll tell you after the story. <laughs> that way people. <laughs> I'll let everybody know. I'll let you all know in a second. <clears throat> and um, oh, these looks cute here. So anyway, um, my husband, my husband, he's always up to something. The guy gets too bored, I guess. So anyway, he's he's explaining to this guy because you know my husband's friends with it. He's explaining to this guy how it would benefit him um, to let me do some um, some classes um, rent free at his place. <laughs> Figure that logic out. But my husband's working it. <laughs> and we're proud of him. And we're proud of him. <laughs> so <laughs> if some way he convinces him that it's to his benefit to give me something free, I'm not sure how that's gonna how long that's gonna take. <laughs> But we might be able to do because there's some classes I'd like to do that I can't do here because of the space. Um, so if uh, one of your dogs are barking. Uh, yeah, I bet you he just got home. Let me check. Oh no, it's school time there. Uh oh, that daycare over there, they're picking up all the kids, and so. My dogs have to bark at every little kid that gets in the car because <laughs> they wave at the dogs. As long as I bark at them getting in the car. <laughs> yeah, my husband's taking the dogs over there before so they can meet them. He didn't do it this year. He's, he did it last year. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, that is pretty. Uh -huh. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I okay. thought I was the only person who waved at dogs. <laughs> no. All right, so let this dry, and then I'll put it on what? Some color. I don't know what. Okay, I think I better go read over here. I haven't read anything. Isn't that awful? Well, they all take care of each other over there. If somebody asks a question, somebody else answers it. So I'm not worried. Everybody there has an answer to something. <laughs> no food fights. See, Gail says not to worry, Sarah, because she she waves at the dogs too. Uh, as we pass them in a car. <laughs> okay. So what color should I use on here so it doesn't disappear? I'm tired of the orange and red, but it seems like it works. <laughs> I have this green, light, that light green paper. So let's do, <clears throat> we'll do the light green with what? Oh, dear. The red again? I'm so tired. Let me just get a different shade of red. Maybe I just need a different shade, and then I'll be happy. Maybe. Let's see. Because I'm tired of that shade. Where did my reds go? I lost my reds. I don't know. Uh-oh. Where'd they go? I have oh, they're up here. I have not used I don't them. have that many, so I have them with my oranges. 
sure I like red a lot, but I don't have that many shades of red. Very odd. Okay, this is called cal uh, calico red. Hmm. And then I have, let's just go with calico red. Let's be done with this. Let's not drag this out. Ooh, Suzanne's package just got there. Oh! She's opening it. Oh, that's fun. I love packages. I think that's why I order so much. <laughs> Uh, percentage wise how much stuff do you use that you order in well, general it must not be a lot <laughs> <laughs> well i tell you what this mixed media stuff kind of sucks you into it you i know it's the tim holtz factor right yeah and the youtube yeah, YouTube made me do it. YouTube and Timmy. Yeah. Kiss of death. It is. And then if they discounted any. Oh, double kiss of death. Yeah. And then if they mail it to you. <gasps> oh, free. <laughs> and you get the package. You get the package and you get the cardboard. You get to pop the little thingamajigger yeah, uh -huh. that they pack it with. Yeah. And your oh husband my says, gosh. you got another package. <laughs> Well, and I say, yes, I did. I had a pack just to show you how my how my postage guy, my post my postman knows me. Um, I got a package sent to the wrong state <laughs> with the wrong number. I had the only thing it had was my city and my street, but it was the wrong state. And the wrong number. And he still, I still got it. <laughs> and in a timely fashion, too. It wasn't like it went all over the country. Uh, what I like is ooh, when, I, ooh, when ooh, I give ooh. the people my wrong address. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this didn't come out the way I wanted it, but it's still pretty. But you can see the birds. I can see the birds. But I'm still not getting... Exactly. What yeah, want. I don't know why. I don't know what the problem is. Well, I mean, I am using white. I know that, but um, but some of them came out pretty cool. So I'm not. I don't understand. I'm using the C. I don't know. Some of these came out pretty cool on the white, so I don't get it. But that's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okie dokie with it. I, I tell you one thing. I think about buying the stuff. And putting it up and forgetting not have it, and then not using it, other than the fear factor, it's that. <laughs> like I, I ordered all this from Joggle because I knew what I was using it for. I and then, started, so I'm using it. Oh, okay. If I have a a started project and I buy something for that started project, I'm more likely to use it. So you need a plan before oh, yeah. you order. Yeah. And that's never going to happen. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Just keep buying away, bringing it over. We'll play with it. Okay. Not a problem. We will play with it. Okay. This is just sitting there, but that's okay. I think it's this. I think oh, I've got noise oh, going on over here. This thing isn't yeah. leaning right, and that's making a mess. Also, down below, um, the dogs go over there, and they think they want to chase the squirrels, yeah. and they run across the bottom over there. So that's probably what it is. Okay. We have a few more flowers. Let's get the flowers done and see what happens. I ask your group what their reason is for not using this stuff. Oh, the people here? Yeah, they probably use their stuff. Except how many of them had children? No, they don't use their stuff because they've got stuff from their fathers. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my daddy didn't do anything like that. <laughs> they got stuff from 20 years ago, too. They, they buy, 
I, there, I forget who it was. Okay, if I'm talking about you and you're there, I'm sorry. But somebody was saying they bought a cricket, you know, the machine. Oh, I have one of them. Oh, dear. And they haven't taken it out of the box. And that was like three years ago. Okay, now I have taken mine out of the box and used it more so when I was at teaching preschool. Oh, okay. I never use it now. But See, Sarah is a retired school teacher. Uh, just just so you know. But I didn't use it as much as I should have when I was teaching preschool. Oh. It was too much trouble to get it all out. Oh, okay. And hook it up to the computer. Mine was a computer thing. Yeah. I got a small computer. Okay, this is all going to be all pink. So it's going to be all pink. Let's just do flowers. <laughs> there was a lot of red that was still there. <laughs> But I have found that I'm more likely to use my stuff since I gathered it all in one box when it all came in, and I'm using it on this project. Oh, okay. But all right. How I, many that, projects do I? That plan makes sense. Do? That makes sense. It does. Okay, here we go. Double handed. <laughs> this is my smarty pants. Mm -hmm. All your stamps are cool. That's all I can say. I'm glad I could buy well. There. <laughs> You're a good shopper. You're a good shopper. Okay, now ladies, don't get don't get concerned now cuz it's none of your packages. <laughs> My husband was heading out, and of course, I wasn't today. I was staying in, and I got an order in my shop yesterday, so I packed it all up, and I said, uh, do you think you could take this to the post office? Now, he's never sent anything for me. I mean, mailed anything for me. Ooh, so it doesn't sound good. So <laughs> I told him like two or three times, you know, first class. Yeah, but he didn't leave there. <laughs> First class, and I needed tracking. So we'll see what he comes home with. I hope I don't owe anybody anything. <laughs> oh my goodness! I like that he hadn't even left. Yeah, and then and then he he leaves, you know, to go next door. And then like about what an hour, two hours oh, later, that's a long time, yeah. He comes back, <laughs> and I think he's bringing me my receipt. And no, he hasn't even left yet. I want to know if we need anything. You want to know if we needed anything? I said, yeah, I need my receipt. Go mail that stuff. <laughs> well, I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I'll feel okay once I have the receipt in my hands. But until then, I'm starting to worry. You probably trust your husband. And I told him, go to the one downtown because they know, you know, the name of my company. So when they see that, they'll take care of you. In case you forget what <laughs> what you're supposed to do, they know how I send all my packages. But then, do I want them to know that that's my husband? That's the <laughs> <laughs> that's the next scary thing, right? Oh my goodness, you're married to him? He doesn't even know how to mail stuff. <laughs> but he can talk. <laughs> yeah, but he can talk. I know some people might think I'm a chatty Kathy, but I tell people I'm the quiet one in the family and they go, what? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am on the quiet. Almost any subject. <laughs> on almost any subject. I am the quiet one. Yeah. My husband is too well read for his own good. But he is. No, I mean, he is smart and knowledgeable. It's just not. Well, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't talk to you about. You know, stuff he doesn't know. He doesn't talk to you about sports or, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. just everyday normal things. He'll talk to you about real stuff. Thought provoking things. Yeah. Like what were we talking about <laughs> before you left? And Civil War. <laughs> Slavery. He's yeah. reading. He's reading this very interesting book. What was the name of it again? 
You wrote it down. Wrote it down. You wrote it down. Wrote Learning it down. from the Germans. Is that yeah. the name of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Learning from the Germans. And uh, my husband doesn't read any um, fiction. fiction or novels, anything like that. All of his stuff is stuff you really got to read. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff that makes you think. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have a good mystery any day. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is a mystery if you ask me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, so it's like going to a, having a conversation with my husband is like going to a lecture at college or something. It's like, oh my gosh, give me some acrylic paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hand me that fabric. Yeah, can I have that fabric sample, please? <laughs> oh, but at least when I'm in the mood to have an intelligent conversation about something intellectual, I don't have to go very far. <laughs> Just gotta go next door. Oh, I do. <laughs> Ooh, how about them hogs? <laughs> Well, they said it on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's full of knowledge about what's on Facebook. We've had several talks about how everything on Facebook is not the truth. <laughs> when he was in the hospital, even the nurses wanted to know why he was so connected with his phone. <laughs> It's his friend, I guess. It's his only friend. Uh-oh. Okay, so, oh, I put that in the water. You didn't even want, you didn't even notice. I'll put it in the water. <laughs> didn't even notice I put it in the water. You're my creepy people. I don't know why I think these are so creepy. But I do. So how many of you guys think that those little Tim Holtz family members are all kind of creepy people? We were looking at them. They're kind of creepy, all of them. Even the little girl that's da tap dancing. She still reminds me of the bad seed girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I remember that movie. That was scared me to death. <laughs> Ooh, she was so evil like that. <laughs> You didn't want to befriend her. <laughs> oh, this one came out cool. And of course, the this dad. looks like a little batik. Oh, I did. Doesn't like it? That. A little uh -huh. bit. Because it picked up the what was behind, left behind. Pretty cool. I like it. Of course, the dad was nowhere to be found on the bad seat. He was. That's true. He, well, where was the dad? He, I forget the story. Was, was oh, an army guy. That's right. He was overseas or something. Yeah, he was uh, developing the nuclear bomb. <laughs> he was doing well. For he us. was. He was doing. Yeah, he was. He was serving the country while the daughter was while killing mother, people. Yes, while the mother was handling a psychopath. Yeah. And yeah. He never wanted to tell the daddy. Yeah. Don't worry him. Don't worry him. Yeah. See, I never understood that. If I'm going to be worried, yeah. everybody is. So, now I got to, I just, I guess I'll figure out the last, the last of the flowers, right? Yeah. Might as well use them all up. I think so. I think so. I think so. I don't know what time it is, but I'm not going home for a little bit. Oh, well, we're not done. Okay. Was he going to pick you up at a certain time, or are you going to call no, him? I, I don't really know if we even discussed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can contact him through Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. No, I did say we could stop and get something to eat on the way home, so he'll be here sometime. <laughs> Well, our friend, the one, the downtown friend, yeah, he had Richard um, go pick out some kind of mechanical, electrical thing that he wanted to put on his. Oh, he has a. He also has a rental that's a. Um, um, it's an old, old house. It's. Um, 
broken up into rental units, you know. And um, so he was doing something on the outside of that one. And um, so whenever he, my husband goes to give him advice, he takes him out to lunch. And then um, he makes sure that he sends some lunch home with my husband for me. <laughs> so yesterday it was fajitas. <laughs> I always look out. I get some good fajitas. And then the day before, the two days before, he got got me something else. I forget what it was. So we have I have some leftover of that. So I guess he's he's providing supper tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Now they only provide a room for the classes. <laughs> yeah, now I just need the room for the classes, and we're ready to go. I want to do um, some artwork that this artist, her name is Anahata. Um, she used to do workshops. She doesn't do them at all anymore. I contacted her because I wanted to do some, um, you know, inspired by her work and she said no problem because I don't do it no more <laughs> I go oh, okay because I just didn't want to do it you know but her her stuff is so distinct that if I did it anyone that knows her would know hey wait a minute you're doing Anahata stuff right so I didn't want to get in trouble I, that name. I do too and um so anyway that's the stuff I want to do but you need walls to do it not tables oh is it this yeah behind us yeah and so that's what i want to do so my husband just got to work it a little bit more <laughs> that's okay <laughs> hey my husband gives him all this stuff and information actually does stuff for him for free so I don't have no problem asking for something in return, <laughs> especially since we never asked for anything in return. This has been going on for a couple of years. <laughs> oh, I've had the yawns today. Uh oh. What happened? Um, I don't know. I'm just looking up to see if there's any capitals. Okay. If there's no capitals, they're talking to each other, so they're okay. I just want to make sure I wasn't avoiding any questions. But they're chit-chatting with each other, which is cool. They're talking about insurance. Oh, I don't like insurance. Except when I need it. <laughs> Well, we're fortunate. We have good insurance that my husband used to be part of a union. And even after he became disabled, part of the contract was that you still get to um, opt in into the existing um, um, program insurance. And so we've been very fortunate or else who knows? I couldn't afford the insurance that I hear people are paying. I mean, it's expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's cheap. But um, we don't have a deductible. And I hear that's what kills everybody is their deductible. But part of the negotiation was if, if you had to um, leave, Due to a disability, um, you you know you still got to have the plan and and you didn't have to pay a deductible because obviously you weren't making the big bucks that you were making before. Uh oh, could that be the hubster? Who knows? Tell them you're busy. Oh, it's only three. 
No, it's some football player. <laughs> he, oh, he got a, a, a band. It's one of the longest NFL bands for on-field action after he pulled off a player's helmet and <laughs> hit him in the head with it. Oh, my gosh. Now that guy needs a little bit of help. He needs a time out. I think they gave it to him. And what did they do to him? They banned him from playing football for a while. Oh. Did it say how long? He said just said the lifelong, the longest. It's one of the longest NFL that bands. That sounds like something you can get arrested for. Yeah. And that sounded like an assault, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little. One more, no, that guy. Now, see, if you asked my husband about that, he wouldn't know what we were talking about. Well, I don't either because I've just read it off. <laughs> but I mean, you know, most guys would know, right? Uh, maybe. Might. Maybe. Dad might if it was on Facebook. <laughs> We are going to a basketball game tomorrow. Uh-oh. Yeah. Did you see, do, do you like um, steam locomotives? I, I did hear about that. That may be where Ed is. The I, big, he's not, it's not here yet. Uh, the big boy. The his, big boy. His for, cousin is getting to ride it to Russellville. <gasps> and, oh, my goodness. How cool is that? And then, yes. And then he was telling Ed he needed to go look at it. Yeah, it's gonna get in a Van Buren at um two fifth. I mean at four fifteen. Okay. It's gonna be there overnight, and then it'll leave there in the morning at eight o'clock in the morning. So it'd be cool is if you get there when it's steaming up and getting going yeah. and all that yeah. steam's going. I'm mean, getting that's gonna be cold tonight. Of course, we're gonna. It'll be like steam everywhere. You probably won't be able to see anything. <laughs> well, I hope Ed misses some of it. <laughs> I'm not big on getting up and getting moving fast. Oh, I? okay. Well, what we did, that particular um, train wasn't here, but another one that at the time was the largest one that was restored. Now, this one is the largest one. Um, it's been about maybe five years ago, and it was in Van Buren. And there was a bunch of people there. You couldn't hardly get off to you know even really see it. Yeah. Plus, it was just there sitting there, right? Yeah. So what we did is we went over to Oklahoma yeah. and um, yeah. went to some little sleepy eyed town there where it was kind of open and yeah. just parked there and saw that whole thing go by and took a movie and some pictures. That was cool. And nobody was there, you know, cause it wasn't standing still. It was moving. And um, that was cool. I would think I'd rather see it moving. Than yeah. I mean, cause they don't let you get on it or anything. Mm -hmm. Well, his cousin worked for the railroad for a Oh. Ooh, look, this one came out cool. Oh, I do like that one. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I gotta get the stupid red on there again. <laughs> oh, let's try the blue again. I liked how that one came out. You guys still with us? <laughs> they're having fun. They're having okay. fun. Not if they're that's, that's what matters. I know this one lady commented on one of my live streams. I mean, yeah, on my live streams, but on the repeat. And she was complaining about who wants to watch a video for two and a half hours. So I told her, I said, I said, the video is not here. Um, I don't make the video for the people that come and watch the repeat of the video. The video, the live is, I mean, the video is for the people that are there for the live. It's a place for people to get together and talk and they're like-minded and they get to know each other. And the video is really for them. And it's, it's just um, the repeat is sometimes, the people that were there on the live, if I'm actually teaching something, which is rare, <laughs> if I'm actually teaching something, you know, they can go back at their on their leisure and and see, you know, how did she do that or what did she say or whatever. 
So, but she was like really getting on my case, like, because I was like a total idiot, idiot to put a video on that long. Who's going to watch it? I said, well, I, 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 ask Tammy, please, <laughs> I mean, I don't go and watch people's lives that are repeat because, you know, I don't, I don't have um, the patience actually um, to do that. And more power to you if you have the patience to do it. Oh, that's cool. I sometimes do, but if I'm watching those, ooh, that yeah. one came out nice. Um, I'm doing something else at the same time. Yeah, and that and most people like the people that have their lives and their sales and stuff. They know that I'm not sitting there watching it because sometimes if there's something that somebody um, in the chat knows I like it. They'll tell the person, oh, I think Rosemary would like that, but I think she's in the other room. And yeah. so then the person that is doing the live, they go, Rosemary, there's something here you might like. And then I come running over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do like that. <laughs> so it's kind of cool when you let people, when people, you know, get to know what you like. And then they're kind of looking out for you and saying, oh, I think Rosemary would like that. And they're almost always right. I mean, they're probably always right. It's the price that isn't my favorite sometimes. <laughs> it's like, uh-oh. Well, yeah, that's pretty cool. But... My debit card, it said no. <laughs> All right, let's see how that one cleans up. And we did that on the red. So I think I'll use another yellow. Let's see how that comes out. Hey, Laura. Did you just get here, Laura? Did I miss you? I've been, Laura, listen to me. I have been seeing on some of these um, people that buy stuff at auctions, there are super cool auctions in New Jersey. And then right across over in, what's what's next to New Jersey? Is that Pennsylvania? Is that Pennsylvania? I don't know. Cool, cool auctions there. You need to get your little Winnebago or <laughs> whatever it is you're getting. <laughs> And go to these cool auctions. Why don't you get uh, they're going to hit the road. At some point, oh. I forget when, but they're going to hit the road. Jack? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> no. Yeah, see, Pennsylvania. And there are really cool ones there. You need to look look online on the um, different types of auction houses. And there's really cool ones there. I, I looked because I can't find any here <laughs> and I get all upset because I find them everywhere else. And I go, oh, I know someone that lives close to that one. Oh, I know someone that lives close to that one. <laughs> and none of them are close to me. Oh, I guess we live in the armpit of America, Sarah. That's all I can well, figure. <laughs> yeah, just got to buy extra deodorant. That's all. Okay, so I got these two little flowers. We'll do that next. Oh, we still got a little camel to do. Look how cute. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's a cutie pie. We're almost done. Man, she had enough stuff. <laughs> And that's just what she brought over. <laughs> uh oh, I see, I see capital letters. <laughs> which armpit? Gail wants to know which armpit I live in. <laughs> the right one. The right one. <laughs> oh yeah, this state is right. That's right. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I know, Kathleen. I don't even like to watch the shows anymore. I like those picker shows because I just like drool. And what's kind of cool, though, um, I was watching. Who was I watching? I can't remember. Oh, I'll, it'll come to me later. But, oh, I think it was Paper and Moose. I was watching her. And, you know, she goes and, and she likes to go to all these different kinds of sales and stuff. And what's kind of fun and irritating at the same time is that the stuff they look over, you know, they'll go and they'll still see this and just put it back. And I'm going, no, no, get that. That's good stuff. <laughs> but it's not their interest, you know. And so I just get all flabbergasted and I'm hollering at them. What are you doing putting that down? That is so cool. <laughs> not when I yell, put down the sweet tea. <laughs> that night, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah. If you watch them, you just got to let it go. <laughs> hey, the shellac peeled off of your aging tape. Oh, what did you do? Mine hasn't come off. What tape? Um, I showed how to make this, that oldie yeah. antique tape. Yeah, I remember now. I don't know. Let me go get my tape and see if it's coming off. No, mine is still there, and this has been there for a while. Here's mine. Well, if it's coming off, it's only got it's got to be one of two things: too thin or too thick. <laughs> That's all I can figure, right? I mean, and I don't know. I don't know. I put when I did mine. I think I put uh, two or three coats, maybe two, eh, sometimes three, but I let it dry in between. So, dry, you yeah, you need to let it dry. Maybe it wasn't dry or maybe you didn't put enough coats, but yeah, it's not flaking off here at all. So, it flake off here because it's so humid. <laughs> yeah. So, try it again, you know. Fortunately, you're you're working with really inexpensive um, materials. All righty, let's see. Ah, oh, still that pink. That red, I gotta remember when I use the red, clean it off. I don't like it on my white at all. And several of them have it on there. You know what? I'm gonna take this off and clean this. I don't I don't want I don't want I don't want the peak on there. So let me let's clean this up. Let's clean this up. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Well, that was kind of, you know, it was a plan. Well, it was a plan and then it wasn't a plan. But, <laughs> but I knew when I got all of my favorite stuff together that all my favorite stuff goes together. So <laughs> quit giving me that look, Sarah. <laughs> that sweet tea, yeah. No, she was saying she got her bundle stuff and it was all coordinated. Yeah. And and it was just, you know, I put all my favorite stuff together. So it just seemed logical that it was gonna kind of, you know, look like it went together because it was all my favorite stuff. Does that make any sense? I don't even care if it makes any sense. <laughs> I'll just drink some more tea and it'll be okay. <laughs> Oh, she's rubbing on it. <laughs> That's what I do with my journals that I can't get rid of. I just hug it. I hug it for a while. I think I'm almost ready to let go of my um, that album I did that I recovered. The antique photo album. I think I'm almost ready. 
Oops. Most of the pink off? I think so. A little bit right there. I guess I could just wipe it down completely, huh? Probably should do that. Only way to get rid of all of it. Where are my wipies? Did I run out? <gasps> no. Oh, I mean, there's always water, but I thought I had some wipies. What's this? I had some that had completely, um, like, evaporated. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those that, that totally evaporated. But all i got to do is go dampen it, and then I can clean it off with it. See? So what are you doing now? Me? Uh-huh. Um, uh, still working in my book. Oh. My Halloween book. Uh, oh, she's pictures. got a really cool book. I'll show you some of the pages no. in a second. Yeah. It's not that cool. Yes, it is. It's got all the creepy people in there and everything. <laughs> here, bring it over here before I get stirred and get everything all, all uh, painty. Don't look at the binding. My binding's all. Well, you show it. You sit over here and you no, show it I'm to them. Showing. Yes, you are. No, I don't show it. Just sit down and show it to them. Just pretend you're, just pretend you're at school and it's show and tell. <laughs> okay, Johnny, sit down. And make, and look over here to make sure that you're in focus. There you go. It's my Halloween book. <laughs> and it's the pokey little puppy in the pumpkin patch. And there's the pokey little puppy. And there's the creepy little girl. <laughs> And there's the little elf or something attacking the puppies. And here's a little kitty cat going to get them. And this page isn't finished. See the two old women sitting on the fence? Are they not kind of creepy looking? Another couple of pages. There's the skeleton. I thought she was a witch, but she's really a skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. Where'd you get that? Out of my uh, fabric. Oh. A lot of this is fabric that I. And there's that creepy little person again. And my MM bag. That's my pockets. And my skeleton. <laughs> And there's those creepy people again. I hope some people don't really like them. Well, we like them because they are kind of creepy. Yeah. And this was a watch face, but I put the cat in it. And there's the creepy little girl sitting up on the tire. <laughs> so when he starts up, he'll probably run over her. And they're going by the cemetery, and here's the creepy people standing there watching the leaves fall. <laughs> ah, and there in the hay is the werewolf. And that's the fabric, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the creepy little girl ballet doing a ballet dance. And this is from Joggles. A that's, lot of that's uh, creepy. A lot of the uh, paper things are from Joggles. That's from the magazine. There's a man sitting in the tree. I don't know if you can see the tree it's real well. Oh, and the women sitting on the coffin. 
Oh, those pages don't go. I've got quite a bit that don't go. And then here's another creepy person with a werewolf, I guess that is. Some, oh, there's a lot of repeats in here. This is, oh, I can't remember the name of that magazine. It's an art magazine. The art journaling one? Or a different no, one? I mean, it's a displays artist all the time. And there she is holding the flag with the Frankenstein. See, it's not very exciting. It's cool. What are you talking about? <laughs> now they're M and M bags. Not any. Not because I like M and Ms or anything. Hmm. And eat them constantly. Okay, and here I put a face on the puppy. Oh, and there's the lace. Yeah, this is fabric. This is all of Joggle's, uh, what do you call it? Digital art or whatever you call it. Collage art. Collage pieces. Mm, I got a lot of pages I'm not finished with. The creepy. the creepy little pin. Oh, I got something right there. Ta da! And that's it. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I'm rolling there. I'll try that. <laughs> See, we had the. Yeah, you tell everybody I don't do lots. We had the. <laughs> We had the jelly plate interlude. Yeah. <laughs> See, Laura loves it. Uh, Elizabeth loves it. I dislike Halloween. <laughs> I don't like to be scared, but I like Halloween. <laughs> okay, I got two flowers left. Two flowers left, and I have the bird, and, oh, let's see. Well, I didn't Oops. realize how many pages I had around. Okay, so. Okay. We're going to make a religious scene. We're going to put the camel <laughs> with this. I look like the Star of David. Yeah. <laughs> or it just looks like the North Star. <laughs> so whatever. And then we'll do the the bird with another flower, even though I don't think they eat flowers. It looks, looks more like a duck or something. But anyway, you just got to work with me. <laughs> You just have to work with me here. No, oh, sorry. Squeak time. <laughs> I forgot to warn the newbies. It's squeaky. I don't want to hear no complaints. Wow, there's still a little bit of pink on there. and I, Oh, it must have been on the roller. How stupid. I forgot to clean the roller. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least most of it was gone. Okay, so if I want him there, I'm going to start this way. No, whatever. I got to leave room for the for the star somewhere. And eh, the uh the camel ain't so good. Oh. I 
but we'll work with it. I think because the uh, it's so thin in between, it's not letting, um, I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to say. The paint can, can't get. Yeah, it's enough. just kind of mushing together as opposed to having a, a real defined print. But it's okay, it'll work. It'll be cute either way. Everybody likes their unrefined <laughs> camel. You know they spit, so you don't. You don't want to get too close. You don't want to get too close, and there's no such thing as a refined um, camel because they're all spitters. So, how refined can you be if you're a spitter? All right, spit, 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 spit. Okay, let's see what happens with this one. I don't think I'm thinking it's not going to come out good, which probably means it'll be the best one. <laughs> I'm not liking that stamp. It's not stamping too good. But I'm sure now it's going to prove me wrong. Still that paint off there. Kathleen, if they were the fake wood stamps, the ones that are made out of resin, that was probably the Tulip brand. They used to carry them. I don't think Tulip even makes them anymore, but I have a couple of those stamps. It has like the paisley print, and I think I had an elephant print. Hey, not bad. He looks more like a like a llama instead of a. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like an alpaca instead of a. <laughs> we kind of like llamas. <laughs> look, doesn't he look like an alpaca? <laughs> oh, not that I'm a, you know, expert on camels. Could have been a. Oh, but look at all the stupid paint that still stayed on. And I wiped it off. It was all over the the um, brayer. <laughs> I still ended up with that stupid pink. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so let's do a blue. A different blue. Um, mm, oh, I should do brown like the Sahara Desert. Yeah. Oh, let me go get a brown. The Sahara Desert. Where's my browns? I'm losing everything. Here we go. It should be, oh, I bet I it should could, be pretty cool. I, I could have picked up this live here on my phone. Yes, you could have. I'm still on, you know. I know. <laughs> Right now. Okay, burnt umber. Oh, but I want to do burnt. Burnt umber doesn't look like sand. What are you doing, Rosemary? Oh. I was just thinking in terms of dark, but I don't want that. Okay. I'm trying to go with the sand look or as close as possible. Maybe Rossiana. 
No, that won't work either. Ooh, terracotta. Close enough. I don't like terracotta. But it Clay, sand, you know, whatever. Hey, Deb. Deb's here. Oh, good. Yeah. We're just practicing with stamps and a jelly plate. Wood stamps. We've gone through the almost all of them. Still have a few. And I guess the red won't bother too much on the brown. It'll all blend together. It'll add to the terracotta. This does not look like terracotta. I know the color of terracotta. This is not the color of terracotta. Terracotta has a little bit more red to it. That's okay. The dog's barking again. I wonder if that's, if that's the hoodie. Sounds more like he's barking at kids. Okay. Get it. We'll do that on the yellow one. It's either the kids or the black cat. There's a black cat on the other side of the alley that just loves teasing my dogs. Uh oh. It must be the black cat. When I waved at him, he picked up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't come out that much, but that's okay. There wasn't that much left, I guess. But they still came out kind of cute. It looks like a desert, and there's just a few yeah. camels. I mean, how many camels you do you need in the desert, well, right? You could come out like it wasn't like it was a caravan or anything. Okay, so that's cool. All right. Um. Let's see. If you got here and you're wondering, who is that second voice? That's my my friend Sarah. She's over here playing with us in real life. Okay. So now. Uh-oh. Was that the one I used? No. Wait. Uh-oh. I'm confusing myself. Oh, I did use that. I forgot. I forgot to put it in the water. Uh-oh. Okay, in the water, done. Nobody told me. People just want to watch me flounder away here. Make all these mistakes. Okay. Okay, so we're starting off with some white acrylic paint. And I have a noisy sprayer. Cover your ears. And I'm using white because I'm printing on black cardstock. So I'm making some background pages for my black and white journal that I do. And I turn it into sort of like a glue book. So it makes some good background. So we're going to stamp in the little birdie, the cute little birdie. I think he's a duck, but <laughs> yeah, look at those feet. He's a duck. He's a real quacker. And then I'm just cleaning off my stamp over here which will provide more background for either that journal or another journal. Oh boy, this guy's flipping over here. <laughs> He's a little tipsy duck. Well, sometimes. <laughs> tip over. He went a little tipsy there.
You have to show them your beads, too. Oh, no. Before she was working on her journal, she was making some fabric beads. You thought you were doing it last night or the night before or whatever night. She's a quilter, so she's got stuff. Okay. And didn't you say, I have a oh, card. oh, oh, didn't you say that you've done the weaving, too? A little bit. Hello. You've got to help. See, I've got I connections and I don't use them. Look at this what I did with my loom. <laughs> oh, that's, oh that that's way. That's a lot better than what I've done. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. But look at <laughs> You've done good. Remember this, people, when you watched that when I made that one? Oh, my gosh. I had no idea what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. That's my only thing I've done. You have to show me how I wrap around. Anyway, okay. I'll show you the directions that I have, paper directions I have, and then you can explain it really to me because I don't understand anything it says. And I have a round one, too. A round one about that size. Oh, I don't have that one. And I don't know what I don't I I don't even know what to do with the straight one, let alone the round one. So that'll be fun to at least have an idea of <laughs> how to use it. Oh, Suzanne says that's another thing you made me buy. I think she bought the loom. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, YouTube made me do YouTube it. YouTube made me do it. Well, it was relative. Well, I don't know what it cost to tell you the truth. I got it at a, I think it was relatively cheap online, but I got it at, um, in a bundle of stuff at some thrift store, the one down on Grand Street. It's funny. You got stores. Sometimes you never find anything and then boom. You find a bunch of stuff. And you think, I have always been looking for that. <laughs> I do find cool things, fabric stuff that I can tear apart there. I always find that. It's not lace or anything, but it's still cool fabrics. That I've incorporated in my in my um, um, journals and stuff. So, whoops, just messed that corner up. I'm going crazy with this flower. Why not? The duck is a little got some problems. So I got I got a mask. I got a mask the duck. <laughs> okay, throw it in the water. Throw it in the water. It's in the water. Okay, so then I'm using a black cardstock. So when are you doing your solder? Um, tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to be doing, uh, you guys that, you know, are involved in the um, wanting to know how to solder from a person who does not know how to solder. Rosemary's tomorrow, way. You're to say. Rosemary's way. Right. Tomorrow Rosemary's is way your solder. evening. <laughs> the Rosemary method. The Rosemary method. Oh, that little ducky looks like a baby. You know how little babies have the little furry stuff on their on their body instead of, instead of the feathers? He looks like a baby. Look. Doesn't he look like a baby? He, oh, he, does. he looks like he a does. baby chick. How cute is that? <laughs> He's the cutest. I'm going to have to cut him out and put him somewhere. He is too cute just to get lost in the mess of all those ducks. <laughs> All right, so let's see what color am I going to put on this one. None of them show up very well except that stinking red. Oh, oh well, this blue didn't look too bad. 
Actually, I think if you went back and look at them, you'd be a, a lot happier. Probably. See, the blue isn't too bad. You see, you thought the blue was too bad. The blues and the greens, not too bad. So let me. Or at least on the white, you thought. The yeah, green. exactly. That white, um, yeah, left a lot to be desired. Let's dry this up a little bit. That has a brass design on it. Has anybody tried the block stamps that have a brass design on it? I'm not sure. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Rosemary probably had told me I needed to buy it. Gail has to leave now. Say goodbye to Gail. Bye, Gail. She enjoyed your company. Well, I enjoyed hers. All right. So that is there. So I'm putting down what is this? The desert turquoise because yeah. it's a little darker than that aqua one so maybe the white will show up better i used it once already and it was it came out pretty good are these people saying they have lives and things to do when they leave when they leave oh yeah they're getting back to real life when they leave so they have lives and things to do what we see. Yeah. <laughs> they probably have to go watch another live. Because <laughs> I think, um, what's her name? I think Vicky's on right now. Oh. And for those of you that don't know, Vicky's one of our buddies. She lives, well, not what I, well, I relatively close, but I mean, she's still as far away. She's an hour away. But she comes down here and plays with us, and we get together and hang out. I glue, and she full paint. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah sits there and, and glues and, and cuts, and next to her is Vicki doing her fine oh. art, fine oil art. <laughs> oh, oh, I have I have a picture that Vicki painted for me. Yeah. That was what she was painting the day that I was. Yeah, it reminded me of it because that's what, what she was doing. Okay, look uh -huh. at this. This uh, If you've seen the video of my studio where I do a, a walkthrough, I have a little back porch. And Vicki went out there, took a picture of the back porch. And I didn't know what she was doing. She was off in the corner doing her own thing over here on the table. I was gluing. And she, <laughs> Sarah was gluing. And then when she was done, she brought me this, and it is a, a painting of my back porch. Is that cool or what? And my glue book looked pretty good. <laughs> Sarah's glue book looked good. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. It wasn't done in oil, but it looked good. <laughs> it had glue and pictures in it. <laughs> So those of you that follow Vicki, Vicki Ross, that's one of her paintings. And she got a new dog. She what? She got a new dog. When? They rescued a new dog. I, I missed that so somehow. now they have three dogs. Oh, my God. What kind of a dog did she get? A little bit like the other two. I think oh, it's okay. kind of snowsery. Yeah. Oh, I it's missed that somehow. It's really cute. It's smaller than the others. Oh. Another dog. Another dog. Oh, well, it came out not as good as the other one, but you can still see the little birdies. It's okay because those these little duck birds kind of irritated me. So, <laughs> Oh, Kathleen says when she leaves, she's going to go take a nap. Oh, that's the best thing to do. <laughs> it is. Okay, so. That was okay. Let, let's let's review what we what these look like for those that 
came halfway, halfway through. We'll do, we'll show you the cleanup pages. Oops, there we go. Let me move this out of the way so I can put this here. Move the paints out of the way. Everything out of the way. Out of the pool, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and some are, you know, clearer than others. Some you just can't hardly see anything. But they're good to start off. Whatever you're going to do, a glue book or a collage book or something. You just want some background. And they are ready to go. Oh, you can see now see this one was done with the red and it shows up a lot better you know on the white uh -huh. you know that one came out good this one is a total washout that was all those cute little little guppies oh ah. i don't even know what this is but <laughs> It cleaned it off. That's all I know. This one's cool. Clean up. These are the big fish, the koi fish. That's a cool stamp. As Sarah said, this turned out looking like tile, which it does. Another tile one. So those are all the cleanup ones. And then these are the ones we did. I don't like the way you say we did. I guess your people were helping me. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, they're, they're your stamps. Um, all right. So some of these I like, some of them, eh. I do like the baby duck. I'm going to end up, you know, yeah. working with them, but, you know, everything can't be your favorite. And this is when I cleaned off the stamps, so I have a few of those. Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds when I forgot the flowers. <laughs> oh. These are cute. And this is just cleaning off the bunny stamp. There's the bunnies. That was a little, little fish over here. And this came out. I love this. I love the little fish. Elephants. This is one that came like tiles. Really cool. So I cleaned it off. The big koi fish. The clean off of the koi fish. And that. That's the end here. That is all. Oh, these two here. 
these are part of the clean off of the uh, the stamps right here. So yeah, so it's fun. I like working with the block stamps. Uh, well, I like working with all stamps, but the block ones, you know, because they are so much firmer and you can keep your hand away from the paint as opposed to, you know, if you have an acrylic block or something like that. So that's why I like the, these wood ones and the ones that are, the, you know, made out of acrylic, but it's the size that I'm talking about. Something you can really grab onto and, and push in. So if you guys have any of these blocks, these types, um don't hesitate to use them on your jelly plate and you know try different colors i just did this obviously because that was my goal for my black and white but um there's all kinds of ways that you can use those prints and print them out and play with them i saw you know a lot of well lots of people and i'm i i do the same thing you know, you get something and then you get intimidated about using it. And I say, don't find out about it. Don't find out what works and doesn't work. Just do it. Because <laughs> that's the fun part to me. Well, maybe that's not for everybody. But for me, the fun part is making all the mistakes and learning and playing around. And lots of times when you make a mistake, what you think is a mistake ends up being a happy, you know, a happy accident. And you go, wow, I've never seen anyone do that. Well, probably because... Nobody had that exact mistake, right? A lot of those. I've never seen anybody do that. But sometimes those are the best parts, you know? Oh. Yes. I don't know how they say that. Yes. Oh, I've never seen anybody do that. <laughs> well, it's different when someone else says it to you than when you say it to yourself. Now, if I go, oh, um, oh, Sarah, I've never seen that quite oh. done that way. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> anyway. Okay, ladies. Thank you for showing up. I had fun. You need to tell them about tomorrow. Yeah. No, that's not Shannon over there. They thought you were Shannon. <laughs> that's Sarah. Um, You met Sarah, right? Who is that? Yeah. You met Sarah at the, at the, um, at the, what you call it? Um, at the workshop, I thought. Which workshop? Vicki was here, right? She was at your table. She was at the loud table. At the paper. Yeah, at the, the paint chip. Yeah. I thought Vicki was televising. No, that's the other Vicki. There was oh, two yeah, Vickies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah, Vicki. One Vicki from Texas. Yes, her. Yeah. yeah. She was at the, for you people that were here from the beginning, Vicki was at the noisy table. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. So okay, so um Vicky who has boxers. Dogs. She has boxers? Dogs. How did I forget that? Well, doesn't she? Excellent. I don't know. Why Vicky, you have boxers? Oh, see, she said we had a good time. Yes, we did. Yeah. Vicky, I was explaining. I was that water on the table. all certain people gravitated toward one table and other people gravitated to the other. And so we had the noisy table and we had the quiet table. <laughs> but it all worked out. And, and the people who were sitting at the quiet table were really glad they weren't at the table. <laughs> and hers is called the messy table, too. So I guess messy tables are also yes. noisy tables. <laughs> Yeah, that is what happened. All righty. So tomorrow, those of you um, that are interested in um, learning how to do the rosemary way of soldering are more than welcome to come. Um, no judgmental people allowed because I'm already telling you it's my way, the not the right Mary. way. The yeah. rosemary way, not the right way. <laughs> Well, it could be the right way. It's right for me, for me anyway. And um, and so, so what time should I do that? I'm trying to think. I don't want to get too late because some people. Vicky was the one who used to go to Shannon's when Shannon lives in Houston. 
Oh, oh, see, it's all clicking here. I didn't know that. Cool. So she did the by fives over with Shannon. I think so. Okay. Hello. Um. Yeah, the rosy way. There you go, Tanny. You tell them. Yeah. So you come by tomorrow night when you hear all the chitter chatter in there. You say, hey, this is the rosy way. Shut up. Okay. Um. Let's say I'm trying to think of Eastern time too. Eh, uh, Western time, because I'm right smack in the middle. Um, I'm just going to say 7 o'clock. So some of you people that, you know, get to bed by 10. <laughs> or try to get to bed. Or try to get to bed at 10. You can watch it live. I think it's better if you guys watch it live. That way, if you have a question, um, you know, I can address it right then and there. I've noticed on, uh, I went um, I went to my, what's it called in studio something? I forget what it's called in, in face. I mean, in, um, in YouTube. And I didn't realize I have not been getting any notifications for comments. And, um, and so there's, a, so there's quite a few questions that have been posted to me. So I just want to apologize if you're one of them. And I didn't comment It's because I, for whatever reason, I used to get notifications I'm not getting any notifications anymore for my own channel comments, which is weird. And I don't go into you because you have to, if you don't have a, a channel, you, you know, you have to go several clicks into all your stuff to even find your comments. So I just really don't do that. And um, I guess I'll have to start doing that now because now I know I'm not getting my notifications. So anyway, so long winded reason why I think we should do this at seven <laughs> because if you ask me a question later I may not even see it so um all right so that's what we'll do seven o'clock central tomorrow all right and um and then we'll play around with that and then that way you guys can get a feel for if it's something you want to do and if you want to spend the money to um get the stuff that needs spend money. Spend <laughs> Calm down, Sarah. Don't get excited. <laughs> you got excited to spend money. <laughs> so, um, all righty then seven o'clock tomorrow, central time online. Uh, well, spending money online. Spending money online. Spending online. Like hey, I got plenty of stuff here you can choose from, you know, just walk around every room. You t I got a price for everything. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for keeping us company. Say, say thank you, Sarah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and we, not we, I will see you tomorrow. Sarah will probably be in her pajamas at home. Um, Seven o'clock central. All right. I'll be getting home from Fayetteville for the ball game. Oh, she'll be getting home from a ball game. Okay, well. That's my husband. Because of the hubby. She's going to be a good husband. Okay. I mean, a good wow. wife. <laughs> for once. For once. <laughs> All right. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you again. Bye.